<laughs> Sam, can you do it too? No, I can't do can it. Can I get it? Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far, I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum, or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media, and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice. For those of you who are on the spectrum, I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. Jack. Um, as they say, Merry Christmas. I am getting myself out of bed after having some me time this morning. No opening up presents here like so many family members do. Uh, for me, I'm getting myself up for a very late breakfast and I'm about to go and uh, fix myself some oatmeal and some hard-boiled eggs. And so it may actually take a minute, but I want to make sure that my body's tied over. Although if I had an option, I would absolutely uh, love to go out for Chinese food before I head up to my friend's house uh, late this afternoon because we're not eating until about five o'clock tonight. But I am really super excited to be here. So, uh, so this is my typical Christmas morning, uh, getting up, spending some time to myself, promoting my vlogs on Twitter, uh, feeding the cat, uh, doing a little bit of sweeping, and then uh, it's in the shower. A happy video and I do want it to uh, have things related to what my Christmas day is like and I think it should be fun in the meantime I'd like to focus on this because I think it's really important and it applies to those of you that are my subscribers and those of you that watch my videos and it's something that caught my attention because I have to realize that uh, I'm on a public forum and I'm putting myself out there and I have to realize that I'm going to deal with anything from internet trolls to fans that just really want to connect. And that's exactly what happened. Um, I wasn't trolled, but basically um, another 30-year-old autistic uh, decided to uh, uh, post a comment on my video, which is... Uh, the truth about autism and employment. And he explained his situation to me in greater detail. And he talked about how he felt like uh, his mom was babying him and that she was not allowing him to move forward in his life. And he had these other skills that he wanted to put to use. And so I told them very briefly that maybe he ought to consider learning how to assert himself and learn how to put his foot down to parents that are overbearing or overprotective. And the next thing I know, he is uh, following me on my uh, Facebook page, which is absolutely okay. And then the next thing you know, he got a hold of uh, my uh, personal Facebook account and he uh, did not hesitate to contact me on his um, on his own time. He contacted my private uh, Facebook Messenger and he explained his uh, situation to me and it turns out that he had been living in a situation where his mother and his uh, stepfather were abusive to him and he was trying to get out of there and being who I am, I have to protect myself. And he wanted me to call the police on her. He wanted me to do all these things. And 
I realized that I couldn't get involved in this situation with a minor acquaintance who I barely knew. So I had to uh, let him know that I couldn't help him anymore beyond giving him information of a crisis hotline and let him know that it sounds like he has other options out. And luckily, it sounds like he could get out of his mom's house and do whatever he needed to to get to where he wanted to be. And he didn't need to uh, contact me and he didn't need to contact anybody else who's a YouTuber to get him the support that he needed. Because again, that's just a really dangerous situation and I just don't know this person. So I had to tell him, I can't help you beyond this. Good luck with everything. Just call this number. Uh, and I told him in a nice way twice that uh, he could talk to me on YouTube. He could follow my channel. He's welcome to go to my uh, Facebook page. And at first I thought he was listening. And then a few days later, I, I received a few messages from him. And I told him once again, hey, this is my private account. Uh, please talk to me on my Facebook page, which is Hello World with Maya Sundermeyer or please be sure to continue to follow my YouTube uh, videos. And of course, he didn't listen to that either. And so, uh, I got a message from him yesterday after um, having to block his Facebook messages because I just didn't want to be bombarded with a situation that I knew nothing about. And I knew that he sounded like he was someone who's more than capable of taking care of himself, but he was being really manipulative. So I blocked him on there, even though I said, good luck, uh, thank you for your time. Well, he didn't get the message. And yesterday, after I posted one of my videos, I got a posting from him stating that he was hurt that I blocked him on Facebook. Why did I do that? And then he put several sad faces on there, and of course, I had to delete that. And I had to well, unblock him on a Facebook Messenger momentarily, and I had to firmly tell him that if he wanted to talk about that stuff that's personal, please don't post our, our drama on my page. And I told him that I felt like uh, he had uh, stepped over my boundaries a couple of times. So I ended up having to block him on Facebook. and. Unfortunately, I lost myself a subscriber, and it's just very sad when there are people that are in situations like that, but and they're trying to reach out for help, but they are uh, doing it in the wrong way. And I think it's sad that there are people out there who will take advantage of you, and this person tried to take advantage of me, even though he needed help, but I couldn't help him. He needed to help himself because he was more than capable of it. So, um, I'm sorry to those of you who are YouTubers. Uh, I'm sorry, but I do need to protect myself. And I want you guys to know that I do have a Facebook profile uh, under Maya Sundermeyer. And you are not allowed to send me any private messages under that name because that's my personal account. Now, you could can contact me under Hello World with Maya Sundermeyer if you have any questions or if you have any um, other commentary because I'd love to talk to you and connect with you there. Uh, if you live in the Atlanta area and you want to be a guest blogger on my uh, show, you are more than welcome to come to my platform and you're more than welcome to talk to me there. But any personal information, I can't really help you with. So, um, yeah. anyway, on to breakfast and on to the festivities today. So, I just got out of the shower. This is the last shot of myself uh, inside this condo. I am just trying to find a scarf uh, for my friend's house. Uh, I'll explain why later on why I'm dressed like this on Christmas, but the main reason is the weather is a, a balmy 57 degrees compared to Minnesota, which is like, um, I'd say 19 degrees. I hear that they have some uh, winter storm warnings, but here in Atlanta, it's sunny, so I'm happy. Now this 
looks like a, a traditional Casey blog, or Casey blog, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and two, I am finally on my way. I was beginning to get a little bored back there, especially since it was me uh, all morning in the early part of the afternoon. Uh, what you saw is uh, our garbage dump is down right now, and so we're having to put it into a big dumpster in front of the clubhouse, which stinks because I have guests uh, coming up next week for New Year's Eve, and some of them are driving, and so I'm going to have to direct them to uh, park in front of the mailbox around the corner, which is absolutely a pain in the tushy. But anyway, this weather out here is absolutely gorgeous today, so. Remember I said that Atlanta is completely dead? Well, just check out the uh, scene on the bus, but it is nice and peaceful. I like it a lot. So I'm on the last leg now, on my way up to the uh, North Springs train station, which is the end of the red line uh, right here in Atlanta. And I just texted my friend, so uh, I should be up there pretty soon. I'm hoping I can show you guys some of the cool footage of uh, this gathering I'm uh, doing things with, because this is a really fun family. And they have some of the coolest family members as well as the coolest friends and they have some of the most uh, rad pets. I'll have to introduce you to some of their cats, especially Ellie, which is a beautiful long-haired cat that um, has a really distinctive name, which is short for Lazy Elephant. And I'll uh, explain why when I introduce you, because he's just so pretty. So I'm currently waiting for my ride, and I thought there was one driver that was my friend's father, but it wasn't. A Luckily, I called my friend about a half hour ago as soon as I arrived, so they should be here pretty soon. to think about it, I think I saw the snowman uh, the times I've been over here for Thanksgiving and then my friend's birthday. I'm gonna go outside for a second. Whoever would have imagined seeing a uh, koi in a pod swimming outside in the middle of December? <laughs> totally lit. <laughs> And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. off I would like to officially introduce you to Ellie um, he sniff I'm gonna let him sniff me sniff me he give me a little headbutt how you doing old friend how you doing your nose is shiny anyway this is uh, lazy elephant also known as Ellie uh, 
his mom said the reason why he has this name is originally they thought he was a girl, so his name was Ellie, like uh, the traditional E L L I E, right? And then they uh, changed his name to um, uh, Lazy Elephant after they found out he was a girl, and it's Ellie for short. And the reason why they got Lazy Elephant is because he slept all the time as a kitten. And so this little lazy elephant is very active and now he's a big bear. Rather, um, I call him the vampire king. Ah, 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 AJ, Dad, down. Get your fluffy butt down. You want to be a celebrity? Get down. <laughs> How greedy of you, AJ. Shake, 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 Gamora. Shake your body in line. You know, that's not your spot. <laughs>